Okay, you see this? There's no color when you look at this, and this is white. So it means that there's probably a hollow core inside the fiber, and then it reflects light differently. Instead of the light passing right through it, like glass, which mohair does, it stops and it goes, bounces off the, the inner, this inner air bubbles in the middle of the, and this bounces off. It reflects the light instead of letting it pass right through the fiber. The inner, the inner air bubbles, you see it as white instead of clear. Just because of the physics of light refraction, how big the air cells are in there affects the fiber diameter. And then the bigger they are, the coarser they get. Kemp's got an exact definition. It's got to be two thirds of the inside of the fiber. Yeah, it's 60% air. It's an extreme core in the middle. Without a microscope, I can't like 100% say this is actually Kemp, oh, yes. but I know it's medulated fiber. As the core gets bigger, the fiber gets bigger. That I will say, and the more of the core it takes up, then it becomes Kemp. Well, then you have to compare how big is it compared to the fibers that it's in with? How, you know, is it distinctly different? Are these kind of straight? You can see they kind of are. They've lost a lot of their text. So they're not gonna bend the same way as these fine, you know, so you don't have as much twist or curve in the fibers. It's like twisting a log. It doesn't have the same flow to it. So these don't match is really what it comes down to. So when you spin it, these are gonna stick out. It breaks, so it doesn't have the strength of mohair. This has got a hollow core, so it doesn't seem to be as strong as the mohair fibers. It doesn't have the same tensile strength. It doesn't reflect light the same way, and then when you dye it, the same thing happens. It, it sticks out, and you can see these fibers. They take the dye different. They reflect the light differently. They take dye, but it's only on the outside edge, and then they have this hollow middle still again, so the light bounces off it differently than going through it again in a true mohair fiber. Well, a medulated fiber is just has smaller air pockets or not continuous throughout the fiber. Almost can be. Yeah. It's in between a true mohair fiber, which has no hollow part, and a Kemp fiber. Kemp is a medulated fiber. It's just a really medulated. You could make the statement that all Kemp is medulated fiber, but not all medulated fiber is Kemp. Yes. Nice. So some medulated fiber is interrupted, so it goes nice and fine, but little blower. But it blends in with the rest of the fleece when you spin it and you work with it, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't effectively downgrade the fleece. But at a certain point, it gets different enough from the bulk of the fineness of the fleece that right. it becomes a problem. So when I'm looking at them, it's like, can I tell the difference between the sizes of the fibers? If I can tell the difference, and if I was going to spin it, would they stick out? And I think so. Then I think, oh, well, it's either Kemp or medulated fiber. It doesn't really matter. They're just going to stick out. So it's going to be less desirable as a fleece to work with. You're going to have a little bit of scratchiness. So the problem with Kemp is if you have a fleece that's 28 microns and it's got Kemp, most of which is 40 microns and above, the effective feel of your fleece is, is the Kemp because it's going to stick out and that's not there's so, so many places you can look. I just start at the front and go backwards. I often look here because this is this is a break point on most goats. It changes. It's look at the style and character of the fleece. It usually straightens out. This is usually where you'll find a lot of Kemp if you're going to find it. You're going to find short, nasty fibers right on right here on the withers that makes. It's often different. So I just kind of look there and see how different is this from the rest of it. She has a little bit of light, Kempy fibers through the top line. The top line, I mean, honestly, it's dirty. Often it has to come out anyway. So it really isn't a problem. When it's in the body of the fleece, this you could go like this and go. But when you're looking inner fleece, no.
usually you'll see little short basically white fibers usually Kemp is short it doesn't it doesn't grow very long medulated fibers don't grow either but Kemp is generally the problem Kemp is generally short so no there's nothing really in here so you can go through usually here usually they'll you know change here these older does because their barrel is grown back here it's usually weathered and damaged sometimes you'll find some back in here and another place a lot of people look is right here at the base of the tail and you can sure enough there you go you can see a little bit so you're looking for the whiter the fibers that aren't really reflecting light the same way right it's oh not, yeah right okay. see yeah so it's just a little different and so it's not even terribly this isn't coarse tail. this is a wonderful dough she's got beautiful fiber from front to back that's not you know, that's not taking much away from it. Kemp is on goats, right? It's just a matter of, is it distracting from the fleece? Like when you're gonna use it and make it into something, is it gonna take it from a kid fleece to a scratchy adult fleece? And the other reason it's mentioned more now is because the quality of the goats has changed. There's a lot of other things that don't need to be talked about anymore. So, my judging has changed because okay, look, you guys got this, right? You got this part. So let's go on to the next one.